There is a secret he is about to tell you. There is a secret he is about to reveal unto you. Hello everyone. I welcome you to the gospel with Ishmael. This is very important. Yes, it is. You know, because a lot of times we are quick to go before God and say, Lord, why didn't you tell us? Lord, I should have known. Lord, why didn't you stop it? If you don't want to take my word for it, check yourself. If you say you have never done it, check in funerals. They'll be like, oh, the Lord, they allowed it for a reason. But <laughs> you go around saying, so the bottom line is this. It is true when you notice that there is about to be a separation. And the separation can come in different forms. You can be separated with your loved one via tragic things like death, which we rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ. There can be a separation that is going to happen. You get fired or somebody you love or you know what you care about, they get fired. There can be a marriage separation, different forms of separations. And uh, sometimes it is easy when things happen, we say God allowed. And I think if I was to now try to want to get the reason why people always equate it to God, I believe it's because they believe it's almighty. So they believe that the way he operates is that anything that happens, he, he can just, yeah, and that is true. Snap of a finger, he can turn things around. But then again, it is good and safe to remember that the, the Bible is there for a reason. So we must not rely on the fact that it's almighty. All we're going to do is to be lazy and then we let him do the job. But then again, we must learn to know how a Christian should uh, contain themselves. Because some things, as much as he is almighty, with a snap of a finger, he will only act when we pray. He will leave the power unto us to, lead, to, to, to use. The Lord Jesus will just praise God and command. He was like, Lord, I thank you always hear me. But I'm doing this so that these people can know that you have sent me. And what did he say? Did he ask, Lord, please raise Lazarus from the dead? He was, no, he didn't do so. He was like, Lazarus, come forth. He, it was not a matter of automatically God is going to raise him. Nah. It was Jesus who was to say. Peter in the book of Acts, he saw a man begging for money. He was like, I do, silver and gold I do not have. But what I have, I give in the name of Jesus. Get up and walk. He said something. He acted. That is why in Jesus' mighty name I pray. May God begin to reveal each and everything that needs you to take action. He's going to give you the strength to conquer. He will give you the strength to make it manifest. So all you have to do is act accordingly. And I pray, everything that, is, that God has given you authority, that He's given you the right to act, that He is living unto your hands to perform, may you perform. May it surely work. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And of course, you can book an appointment with me. My details are on the comment section below. See you next time.